What happens to a person's body when he sinks? They say that people swim in different styles and drown in one. This is not true. How people drown depend on several factors, including a person's age, the temperature, and salinity of the water. There are several types of drowning. About 80% of cases are true or wet drowning, in which water is inhaled and enters the tracheobronchial tree. In this case, the alveoli of the lungs are affected and foam is released abundantly from the mouth and nose of the drowning person. Their skin and mucous membranes turn blue due to the lack of oxygen. With a dry drowning, a small amount of water is breathed in and irritates the lungs, causing buildup of fluid over time. Sometimes water may also get into the larynx and cause a reflexive contraction of its muscles. This contraction leads to closure of the airway and suffocation. Foam may form in the corners of the mouth and the skin becomes blue. In some cases, drowning occurs as a result of fainting while in water. A sharp temperature drop from immersion in cold water or water damage to the eardrum of the ear could cause this loss of consciousness. If the water is cold, then hypothermia can set in and become an additional threat to life. Although if you drown in very cold water, all of your body processes will slow down unless oxygen is needed. In these cases, the restoration of brain function is sometimes even possible in 20 to 30 minutes after drowning. As a rule, when a person realizes that he is drowning, he begins to panic. His mouth may go underwater, then reappear above the surface. While struggling for the opportunity to breathe, a person cannot call for help. This stage lasts from 20 to 60 seconds. Then the body goes completely underwater, and the person tries to not inhale as long as possible, up to 90 seconds. Eventually, the person is forced to take a breath and takes in water instead of air. He coughs and breathes in more water. Water in the lungs blocks gas exchange within the tissues and the drowning man feels a tearing and burning sensation in his chest. Then the water from his lungs enters the bloodstream and destroys red blood cells. The cells within the organs oversaturate with water from the bloodstream simply burst, which leads to multi-organ failure in two to three minutes. Interestingly, sea water which is denser than fresh water is barely absorbed into the blood. Therefore, the sea drowned person has an additional six to seven minutes to be rescued. From the lack of oxygen, the person begins to lose consciousness and he is seized with a sense of calm. Then comes cardiac arrest and brain death. The person sinks to the bottom and proceeds of decomposition begins inside the body of the drowned man. Bacteria reproduce and multiply very quickly, which causes accumulation of gases within the body that are lighter than water. The body begins to swell like a balloon and floats to the surface. Of course, it is best if someone can rescue the sinking person in time. Have you ever saved someone from drowning? Or has someone saved you? Tell us about your experiences in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Soon we will have another informative video for you.